What the heck? <laughs> All right, peeps, so my meal dealer's order comes every Monday. The noise is just the dishwasher, sorry. But I wanted to show you guys what I ordered for myself. So I got an order of stuffed peppers. So I've actually never tried this one, but the macros are very good on it. 10 fat, 22 carb, and 37 protein. Turkey stuffing and a pepper, like, okay. And then we have two of the normal pumpkin spice protein pancakes because duh, every order, get the pancakes. I promise you, you will fall in love with how good these are. And the macros are great on them too. Nine fat, 31 carb, 28 protein. So I got those and then I got two teriyaki beef and broccoli rob. So this one is the one that kind of reminds you of Chinese food or Korean barbecue sort of teriyaki beef. So, so, so good. And it comes with white rice and broccoli rob. The rob is a little bitter, but I mean, I like it. Not everyone does, but the meat and the rice is really good too. You could probably ask to substitute in like normal broccoli if you wanted. Next, I got two turkey zucchini burgers. Yep, this one's actually a great low carb option if you're dieting, so nine fat. 14 carb, 38 protein, and you get it with cauliflower fried rice, so it doesn't even feel like you're not eating carbs. And then you have the burger. I haven't tried this one in a really long time, so I'm excited. And then lastly, my favorite six pack builder, sweet potato, chicken, broccoli. I got two of these, and these ones are very low fat, high carb, high protein, so they're like a perfect pre and post workout meal. I do want to go over peri workout nutrition very soon with you guys. The meals are round and during your workout, but this one's one of my favorites. The chicken is not dry. It is such a good meal, so that's what I got from Meal Dealers, and I'm gonna throw that in the freezer. And so guys, if you're in the DC, Maryland, or Virginia area, or Lancaster, Pennsylvania, or Philadelphia, you can go to mealdealers.com and order from them. They deliver everything fresh to your doorstep, so you see how this is not frozen. They deliver everything fresh. You can use the code MARISSA to get 15% off your entire order, which can really save you a lot of money. First of all, they're good for seven days in the fridge. As you can see, it says when they're fresh until, and if you're not gonna eat it, until that point then you can just put it in the freezer and take it out when you need it and they'll stay good for a very long time that way and guys like I rely on these meals so much now I used to just kind of work them in every now and then but I rely on them so much now like literally they save my life it's so convenient for people who struggle to get their protein in these are just like amazing amazing meals to have so give them a try code Marissa for 15% off mealdealers.com give them a go I promise you will not regret it if you're in the area like try it out and if you are not in the area then I highly highly suggest just looking into a local meal prep business because when you get your meals delivered fresh it's just incredible it's worth the money for the convenience and I really really suggest it if you struggle with getting your meals in or having food prepared fresh for you so give it a try that's enough for me let's go to the gym all right, what's up guys? So I'm probably guessing that you're wondering what the heck happened at the beginning of that video. Basically, the machine was not bolted to the ground yet. Keep in mind this gym, the shop is not technically open yet, so they do have little things to tweak and fix. So the machine was not bolted to the ground. There was no sign on it saying don't use it. And we had used it for bicep curls the other day. So I put it in a tricep pushdown setting and after my first rep, it literally started crashing down on me. I'm fine, I did not get injured. But I just thought that'd be uh, fun to show, I guess. I don't know. It's a good thumbnail for clickbait, you know? So anyways, we're gonna get right into the workout that we did for shoulders and arms, day 12. The first exercise was seated dumbbell Arnold press. So for the Arnold press, you want to make sure that you're using the back support on your seat. You are doing a normal shoulder press along with a rotation of your shoulder joint. So what this means is you're going to push up 
bring the dumbbells down to ear level, and then you're gonna twist them around so your palms are facing your face at the front of that Arnold press, and your elbows are high. So you wanna keep your elbows up and keep the tension on your shoulders. Don't relax your elbows and let them just kind of sit on your torso. So your elbows are trying to be 90 degrees from your armpit joint. That should be a 90 degree angle. And then you'll go back out into a pronated grip, which means palms facing forward, shoulder press, and then complete the rep. So eight to 10 reps of that. And it was absolutely brutal because you're keeping tension on the shoulder the entire time. Next up, we moved on to a straight bar cable bicep curl. Super set with a straight bar cable tricep push down, which is where the machine fell on me. So we moved locations and both of these exercises were doing a drop set on the last set, meaning that after the third set, we're adding an extra set to failure. So for the straight bar cable bicep curl, it's pretty straightforward. We're using a wide grip lat pull down bar, but you can use any straight bar you want. Again, with any sort of bicep curl, you're keeping your elbows tucked at your sides. You're not letting your elbows flare out or swing. You're not swinging your body. And you're coming up and you're squeezing your biceps at the top and then controlling the way down. And then with the straight bar cable tricep push down, you are keeping your elbows tucked, same as the bicep curl, and you're using just your forearms to push the weight down and squeezing your triceps at the bottom. The bar is resting in the heel of your hand, so you're pushing through the heel of your hand and not letting your wrists flip back. You're squeezing your triceps at the bottom and letting them come to a full stretch just above 90 degrees at the top of that tricep push down. So with your drop sets, guys, make sure that you're really pushing yourself, you're really getting towards that actual muscular failure where you can't actually do another rep and then you'll be done with that superset. Next up we moved on to an alternating front and lateral raise with a drop set every set. So 15 per exercise meaning that you're doing one lateral raise and one front raise and that counts as one rep. So you're gonna do 30 total raises, 15 of each per set. So started off with 10s here, 15 per exercise is absolutely brutal, and then dropped the weight down to five pounds and did as many as I could until failure, absolutely killer. So with the front and lateral raises, things that I've already told you guys before that you should be using as cues every time you do a shoulder raise, lead with the elbow, the elbow does not come above the shoulder, and the wrist does not come above the elbow. You want to control the way up and control the way down by dragging the weight up by the elbow, and you should feel it on the side of your shoulders. Make sure that you're not using too much body language, you're not swinging the weight around, you're controlling it, you're feeling it burn in your shoulders, and you're pouring the pitcher at the top of that front and lateral raise, so what I mean by pour the pitcher, if you haven't seen day two, then you should go watch that and know what I'm referring to. But if you're following along with the program, I'm assuming you've watched every single video, but you're pouring the pitcher by tilting your pinkies up towards the ceiling at the top of every single rep. So you can see I'm doing that at the top of every rep and that helps you contract your delts just a little bit more. Next up, we moved on to another superset for arms, a preacher curl machine superset with a tricep extension machine. Now, if your gym doesn't have this type of equipment, you can just do some more cable curls and cable push downs or any cable overhead extension. You can kind of play around with it, do what feels good and what works the same muscle. So any sort of bicep and tricep superset will work if you don't have this equipment. But if you do, the proper form for the preacher curl machine is to jam your armpits into the corner of the seat so that they're sitting comfortably and your whole entire upper arm is on that pad and then your butt is planted down on the seat below you and so you should lower the seat or raise the seat so that you're comfortably sitting in that position with your armpits jammed into the corner of the pad. Ladies, it will be uncomfortable for your boobs but we just gotta deal with it for those biceps. 12 reps per, you're just grabbing the handles, coming up and squeezing your biceps at the top, nothing fancy about that. And then with the tricep extension machine, I actually really, really love this machine. I do the exact same thing. I jam my armpits into the corner of the pad, make sure I'm adjusting the seat so that it's sitting in the correct position. So I'm sitting comfortably with my armpits in that position. And then I'm keeping my elbows down on the other end of the pad and pushing with the heel of my hand and the side of my hand to extend my tricep all the way and I flex it at the end of the movement and I squeeze my tricep and then I try to control the way back as much as I possibly can. 
Next up, we moved on to Around the World with a drop set on the final set. So sets of 10 here. With Around the Worlds, you wanna use as little momentum or body language as possible, but these can get really hard. So keys with the Around the World is if you have to force the weight up by using momentum or body language, that's okay. But if you do that, you need to resist the way down and go as slow as you possibly can on the way down so that you're still getting some effect and you're still working your shoulders when you're bringing the weight down, controlling the eccentric, the negative, the weight down portion of the movement. With the around the worlds, you're keeping your palms facing away from you the entire time. So at the bottom, they're facing away from you and your pinkies are pointed towards each other. And then you come up and out while keeping your arms taut. You're not bending them at all. You're just moving at the shoulder joint and you're basically drawing a circle with your hands up to the top where the dumbbells are close to touching and then you resist the way down, coming down as slowly as you possibly can. These burn so bad and on the drop set on the final set with fives, I used five pound plates in each hand and it was just absolutely killer. They were, my shoulders were dying. So enjoy that one. And let me know how you guys like the Around the Worlds. And then lastly, we did a seated dip machine with a drop set on the final set. I love seated dips or any sort of tricep dips. Um, with this one, we are leaning forward slightly so that we can bring our elbows up behind us as if we were doing a free weight body weight dip. Sitting on the seat, still planting our feet, planting our butt on the seat, but I did like to lean forward for this exercise to kind of get the full range of motion. Yeah, not much about that. Just push through the heel of your hand and squeeze your triceps at the bottom, come up slowly and really feel the stretch. And then on the drop set on the final set, again, you're cutting the weight by 30 to 40%, pushing another set to failure. So here's some footage of me being pushed extra by some of my friends at the shop. I love the environment. This is what happens when you come to a real gym like this, where everyone's positive, everyone's hardcore, everyone's encouraging each other, helping each other get more reps out and pushing each other to be their best. So if you haven't checked out the shop already, their description and their open hours are in the description box below. So check them out if you're in the area, uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia sort of area, and it'll definitely be worth the drive. Work it all the way down, three, three, four, five, keep it up, four, come on, guys. After the shoulders and arms workout, we actually did some tire flips for hit cardio. So if your gym has any sort of tire, this is amazing cardio and it was so much fun. So what we did was we did 10 rounds of tire flips. We would go all the way down to the front desk and back. It was about eight or nine flips all the way down and back each way. We did 10 rounds with about a minute to a minute 30 rest between sets. Just switched off back and forth with each other and it was absolutely killer. I love doing cardio like this because it doesn't even feel like you're on a machine and you're kind of dreading it. You're actually doing something. So if you guys have tires available to you, I highly suggest trying it out. When you're doing tire flips, just make sure you're squatting down and pulling it up with your legs and then pushing it forward with your whole body's momentum. So don't be bending too much at the waist because you're going to be using too much back to pull that tire up. You want to use your entire body and use your legs because your legs are half your body and they're pretty strong so you should use them for flipping the tires so that's the entire workout thank you guys so much for watching give the video a thumbs up download the program in the first link in the description box below if you haven't already it's completely free all the videos are totally free and you can follow along with me on this 30-day kickstart as well 
and we can do this together guys. So share the program with a friend or download it below and let me know how you are liking it so far. Shoot me a comment, DM, email, any questions you have, I'm happy to answer and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for Glute Day. Have a good one, bye.